Hi, I'm Jason from Ishimoto, and today we're going to install the Performance Aluminum Radiator for the BMW E46 M3. Tools needed for this installation are flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, T25 Torx, 4mm hex, 10mm socket, quarter inch drive ratchet, quarter inch drive 6 inch extension, 19mm socket, 3 h drive ratchet, a funnel, and BMW approved coolant. Install time is about two hours. Install difficulty is three out of five. Okay, now we're gonna pop the hood and let's get started. First thing you wanna do is raise up the car and support it on jack stands or with a two post lift like we have here. Next, remove the three pop clips and remove the air intake duct. Now remove the air filter using a flathead screwdriver. Now unbolt the two 10 millimeter bolts holding down the airbox. This airbox is aftermarket, but the stock one is mounted fairly similar. Next, remove the mass airflow sensor housing from the intake hose. And then remove the air intake box assembly. Make sure the car is properly cooled down first, then you can remove the cap from the radiator reservoir. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the clip from the quick disconnect coupler. And now remove the coupler. This may take some force. Remove the side plastic trim off of the fan shroud. Now remove the small overflow port from the upper hose using a flathead screwdriver on the quick disconnect coupler. And now you can remove the side trim completely. And now remove the plastic trim from the opposite side of the radiator. Now you can remove this stock electrical connector off of the stock fan shroud and set it aside. Disconnect the plug to the stock fan shroud and remove the plug from the fan shroud. Once it is removed, set it off to the side. Using a T25 Torx, remove the two oil cooler retaining screws. Now remove the oil cooler and set it off to the side. You can use a zip tie and tie it to the sway bar to hold it out of the way. Now if you're just removing the radiator or replacing the radiator, you need to remove the stock oil cooler in order to drain the coolant. Using a T25 Torx, remove the two fan shroud retaining screws. Now, using a T25 Torx, remove the two upper fan shroud retaining screws. Using a small or stubby flathead screwdriver, you can remove the upper coolant hose completely. This will give you more room to remove the stock fan. Now using the supplied Mishimoto fan removal tool, you can now remove the stock fan. And now remember to turn the fan clockwise. Now by hand, you can turn the fan clockwise to remove it. Remove the fan and fan shroud assembly from the vehicle. Next, remove the sensor from the lower radiator hose. Then you can disconnect the lower hose from the quick disconnect coupler. Make sure you have the drain pan handy. Coolant will pour out all over the place. Now remove the final upper radiator support screw using a T25 Torx. You can now remove the radiator from the car. Now you're going to install the Mishimoto radiator. When installing the radiator, be sure that the radiator falls into the plastic tabs on each side. This will make installation much easier. Once the radiator is in place, reinstall the upper radiator mounting screw. Now you can go ahead and reconnect the lower radiator hose. When you are pushing the coupler into place, make sure to listen for the snap ring to click back into place. Now 
Now reconnect the sensor. With the radiator secured on one side, we can go ahead and install, in this case, the Mishimoto aluminum fan shroud. You are going to reuse the long screw from the passenger side upper mount. You can go ahead and install the lower driver side mounting bolt for the fan shroud. Now you can reinstall the upper radiator hose to the engine. Next, reconnect the upper radiator hose to the radiator and listen for the click. Now you know it's on. Once the hose is reconnected to the radiator, go ahead and reconnect the small overflow port. You can now reinstall the air intake assembly. Reconnect the mass airflow sensor housing and tighten the clamps with a flathead screwdriver. Next, reinstall the two 10mm air box bolts. And then reconnect the mass airflow sensor. Make sure it clicks into place. Reinstall the air filter and tighten the clamp with a flathead screwdriver. Before you fill the coolant, you want to open up the air bleed on the upper radiator hose. This will help evacuate air in the cooling system. Now refill the system with a 50-50 mixture of BMW approved coolant and distilled water. Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto radiator, start the car up, check for any leaks, let the car run for a while and bleed out all of the air from the cooling system. It may take a while. Once that's done, go out. Take it for a ride and enjoy your new Mishimoto product.